today firstly about rounding rules. This is uh, exercise 7G I think. So there are a number of rounding rules that I want to talk to you about today. Uh, there's not a heck of a lot of work I want you to do from this exercise, uh, but see your plan for details. The first rounding rule that we need to talk about is that you should use unrounded numbers in your working. Only round at the end. If you don't uh, do this, if you start rounding in the middle of your working, your final answer will not be entirely accurate. So, don't round each individual part of your working, just round at the end. That's the first rule that you should be aware of. The second rule is, um, if there are two parts in a question, and the second part of the question requires you to use your first result or your answer in the first part of the question, don't use your rounded answer from part one, use the unrounded answer because that will give you more accuracy. If you use the rounded answer, you may end up with some inaccuracy. Uh, the third rule is when you are listing or writing a short terminating decimal, for example, uh, terminating means it ends, uh, it has an end to it, it's not a recurring decimal. For example, if you are given, uh, say, this number here, 0 0.125, Generally, you could just write that as 0 0.125. You don't need to do any rounding there. The fourth rule is that if you have a recurring decimal, uh, don't round. So, for example, if you had 0 0.66666, etc., etc., don't round it. Don't go, oh, it's 0 0.67. Give the answer as 0 0.67. Point six, and then a little dot on top of the 6, and that denotes that it is a recurring decimal, and thus you are able to preserve accuracy. Uh, if you Sometimes you have something like um, maybe 0 0.1515151515, etc., etc. So don't round that either. You're just going to go 0 0.15, and then you're going to pop a dot over both of those numbers, which denotes that both of those numbers are going to recur, so it'll be 1515. Okay, uh, the fifth rule is with money. You know this one, uh, round to two decimal points. So you're rounding for the nearest cent. Uh, the sixth one, the sixth rule is um, check your tests. Uh, for example, in IGCSE, it will say at the front uh, that you need to round to three significant figures. Okay, that's the rule for IG. Uh, examinations round to three significant figures. The only um, uh, exception to that rule, I guess, or the exceptions are money, round to two decimal points, and um, when you're measuring angles and degrees, round to one decimal point for those. But in an IG exam, you're going to be rounding to three significant figures. The final rule is use the same accuracy in the question or slightly better. Uh, so if the question gives you, um, say, uh, the, er uh, the sides of a rectangle are uh, 0 0.7 and uh, 0 0.4, it would be okay to give your answer to 0 0.28 um, because that's fairly close in, in decimal points to 0 0.7 being and 0 0.4 being one decimal place each. Well, I hope those rules kind of make sense to you. Um, have a go at the exercise, but I guess the, probably the main thing to be aware of from these rules is probably the one about just check what the exam asks you to do. IG will be in three significant figures, money's two decimal points, and angles and degrees will be one decimal point. All right, take care, guys.